The Dallas Mavericks have been a team that has been caught with a lot of disappointment, mostly because of the roster that they have in the Western Conference. Since they traded for Kyrie Irving, they have fallen under a lot of mediocrity. The Mavericks have been losing a lot of games to teams that they should have no business losing to, like the back-to-back -back games against the Charlotte Hornets where they lost in embarrassing fashion, and they definitely did not deserve to lose those games, especially to a team that is purposely tanking. And with the season being close to ending, the Mavericks may not make the playoffs due to them being out of the play-in. Especially since they just lost another game to the 76ers. If that does happen, this whole experiment with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic, them trying to fit as a duo and hopefully be a dominant force in the NBA, it may turn out to be a complete failure. The Dallas Mavericks, when they traded for Kyrie Irving, had a lot of people talking, and most of those conversations were concerns for what this team was going to look like defensively. Like I said in my video when they traded for Kyrie Irving, I thought that this team was going to be impressive offensively, but defensively, there were going to be raised a lot of questions. Now, while Kyrie has not done anything crazy in the media recently, he is hurting the team with his defense. We all know that Kyrie is not the best defender in the world. And when they traded for Kyrie Irving, they ended up trading Dorian Finney-Smith, who was their best defender. And honestly, in hindsight, this was a really, really bad move because now their defense is a lot worse and they are one of the worst defensive teams in the NBA. Since they traded for Kyrie, they are currently 23rd in defensive rating, and we have seen in the games where they were up by double-digit points, they ended up blowing leads in crunch time. For example, the game against the Lakers was probably the worst game they played all season. They were up by 27 points, and then they blew the lead in embarrassing fashion as they had no answer for LeBron or Anthony Davis, and Jared Vanderbilt was playing great defense against Luka Doncic, and Kyrie Irving was not shooting well at all. Another issue is that Kyrie and Luka as a duo has not been the best at all, as they are 4-8 and eight as a duo, but overall the Mavericks are 8-14 and 14 since trading for Kyrie. Now, I know this sounds like I'm putting the blame on Kyrie, and this is not the case at all. I am just saying that since the Mavericks have traded for Kyrie, it definitely has not looked good for them at all. Kyrie is not entirely to blame, because the Mavericks and their offensive system definitely needs to be changed completely. Their over-reliance on Luka throughout the entire season has been another issue in of itself. Even before they traded for Kyrie, Luka had to pretty much go supernova in order for them to win. He had to drop a 60-point triple-double in overtime just for them to win a game. I mean, that is actually insane. Another issue is definitely Christian Wood, as I believe he is not playing the absolute best, especially in the last stretch of games. And it feels like the Mavericks are not using him correctly. As he does come off the bench, and sometimes he starts in the starting lineup, it just seems like the Mavericks don't know what to do with Christian Wood exactly. And another mistake that I feel like they definitely made was them losing Jalen Brunson in the offseason which also might have hurt the team in a really big way because look at what he's doing in New York as they are making the playoffs since 2021 and Jalen Brunson has been playing like an all-star and he is part of the reason why they are so successful. And the Dallas Mavericks could definitely use his presence right about now. It just seems like the Mavericks are just going through a lot of issues and it is unfortunate because they had a really great and underrated playoff run last year as they made it to the conference finals and everyone was wondering if the Mavericks could replicate it this year. Now granted, the Mavericks definitely were not a team that anyone expected to make it to the conference finals last year, but they still had an impressive run nonetheless. And now this season, they may not even make the playoffs. Now if they do end up making the playoffs, we're going to have to see if they can make it out of the first round, especially due to how shorthanded their defense is. Depending on who plays them in the first round, it's definitely going to test the Mavericks a lot. But we have seen stranger things happen in the NBA before. But either way, the Mavericks are going to be in for a long offseason, win or lose. Because of the recent comments Luka has made about how happy he is, it is going to be a very interesting summer. There may be some changes, and with Kyrie Irving becoming a free agent in the offseason, we will see if he even returns. Because like I said, this entire season with Kyrie being on the Mavericks was a trial run because, like I said, they had to make it to at least the conference finals for Kyrie Irving to stay. But with the Lakers ended up getting D'Angelo Russell and it looks like they're going to keep it for long term, we don't even know where Kyrie is going to go. So maybe he really has no choice but to resign with the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks are currently 11th in the Western Conference and their last six games are going to be a fight. So we will see what ends up happening for Dallas. 
hopefully they will get out of their slump but who knows hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys on the next one nba nerd out